Hey everybody, as you've already guessed, it's a new mobile game review from Mob.org, and I'm Garrett, as usual. Alright, you're ready? Let's go. Or, let's fly to be more precise. For today, we'll leave the frail earth and soar into the sky. Meet today's guest, the game's world of aircraft. And yes, it lacks originality, both in the name and in the plot. This is a game about aircrafts, and I remember at least three games that have not the least bit of difference between them and this game. But we gotta remember, aircraft is for the mobile platforms, and if the developers didn't have the fertilest of imaginations, well, it could compensate with their skill and the product quality. Could it be so? Let's check it out. The game is made on the Unity 3D engine, which was widely used for a lot of things. Good ones? And eh, not so good. As we can see from the intro, the game has rather good graphics, and it's made for the full do. At the beginning, we're offered to get trained. We fly up from the ground without texture. They were being a bit lazy for some reason when they made it. And we find ourselves in a boundless atmosphere, one-on-one -on -one with the training mission and its text. And this is a weak spot in the game. The developers wanted to make their best, but it turned out to be War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. There's way too much text here. Way, way too much. They explain almost everything to us, from the basics of control to battle tactics with every separate kind of weapon. And this is wrong, okay? They tell you how to make a loop. All right, we know how to loop. You told us that, and it seemed enough. But no. The section about the convenience of the loop for the attack avoidance that follows? That, really, did we need it? I would never guess why I have to make an abrupt overturn with a plane. If they hadn't written that, I wouldn't have known. And they also wrote that the barrel roll spends a lot of energy. Really? The energy indicator's right in front of my eyes. Could it be that I wouldn't have been able to read it by myself? Many things of the same sort. The pieces of advice may really be useful, but there's too many of them and you pay absolutely no attention to it after the first five minutes of reading. All right, well, let it be. After the tutorial, you're offered access to your account. The things are simple here. You just type in your login and password and connect to a server. In the game menu, you can see your resources, gold and gems. You can spend them to upgrade your plane, but we'll talk about that a bit later. The menu also has four different paragraphs. There's airfield, battlefield, tutorial, and exit. Airfield is the shop. You spend the above mentioned resources here. You can also buy new planes and upgrade the characteristics of old ones armor, speed, damage from the guns, and the speed of a gun's recharge. Battlefield is, well, the battlefield. Here you can choose from one of four game modes. Mission, one-on-one -on -one fight, and deathmatch. Everybody against everybody. And a team battle. Choose and you'll see a cool map of tasks made in the form of a 3D effigy of our planet. Our own little blue and green ball. And, while you're watching a battle, I will tell you about the controls a little. The left part of the screen is intended for aircraft control. Swipe it and fly in the right direction. The energy indicator is also right there. You need energy for speed boosts and the loop. There's also a payload indicator here. You spend it when you shoot and when it runs out, you have to wait until it recharges. You activate the speed boost by pressing the center of the screen with your finger. It's very convenient when you have to fly after somebody or take off. Well, and in the loop, of course. You can make it with an upward swipe with two fingers, and it takes all your energy. At the right, two buttons are situated. The rear view mirror to spot the enemies that are tailing you, and the fire button to send them to hell, for example. Actually, as one of the more, or, well, less advanced online games go, this one has lots of nuances, tactics, and fine points. But, as our reviews have a certain format, I offer you to learn all the nuances from your own personal experience while playing and fighting, or from the tutorial. Let's sum it up. The game is qualitative, with good graphics and dynamic gameplay. There are always crowds of people online, so there will be no problems with loneliness. So, all the lovers of such games on PC, you just go download it, save it without a doubt, and check it out. That's all for today. Subscribe, comment, like, and share it if you loved it. This was Garrett and reviews from Mob.org. See ya!